make sure the people that you're partying with and have a good time having the same mental track record is where you want to go. Because if they're on the same mental track, trust me, you're setting yourself up for failure. When I turn up, you know I'm on my, on my, yes I'm on my, I'm on my, on my, yes I'm on my, 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 I'm on my. So, in this video, what I want to really kind of talk about, have a quick chat with you guys watching, is this is mainly for someone that's in high school, ideally someone around 16 years of age. Now, uh, the big thing that I noticed with a lot of young kids that hit me up on Instagram and asked me questions about uh, you know business and mindset and everything else is who should I be surrounding myself with when I'm in high school, or who should I be surrounding myself with at the right ages? Here's one thing that I gotta tell you. There's never a right time to surround yourself with the right people. There's never gonna be a wrong time to surround yourself with the right people. So what that, what I'm trying to say here is, when you're 15, 16, you know, a lot of the times we fall for the quote unquote jock kids or the quote unquote cool kids, or you know, you choose your circles and everything else. Think about it long term, is what I usually tell people. So when people, when I respond back to it, think about it long term. The reason being is because you never know who you hang out with when you're 15, 16. Maybe you know your friends don't really want to be entrepreneurs. They don't really want to get into business or whatever. The, whatever the whatever you're inter interested if you're watching this video. But there's still people that's within your school circle that could keep you on the right path, right? Like hanging out with people that are doing drugs and doing all that silly shit. Just stay the fuck away. Like just stay the fuck away. Trust me. I've been there. I grew up in Vancouver. I went to the worst rated high school in British Columbia and the second worst rated high school in British Columbia. And trust me, there was a lot of fucked up people that were in those schools. But the one thing that I realized that I stuck through through and through, even though it's acquaintances and friends with them, was I knew where I wanted to be and I knew no matter what would happen, whether I had, you know, whether I had that success at a young age or whether I had success at an older age, it didn't matter. I was going to choose. Because when you choose your friends at a young age, you fast forward that when you're 26, let's say if it's year 16, you fast forward that when you're 26, it literally makes a huge difference by the time you're 26 to who you're hanging out with. Even if you're in the States and you turn 21 and you have friends that are going partying and having a good time, go out and have a good time, but make sure the people that you're partying with and have a good time having the same mental track record is where you want to go. Because if they're on the same mental track, trust me, you're setting yourself up for failure. So whether you're in college, whether you're in high school, whether you're out of school, doesn't matter. This doesn't apply. I know this video mainly is for kids that are in in school, mainly for kids that are in the younger in in the younger age group. But you know, at the end of the day, even if you're 21 and you're struggling and you're trying to figure out what the hell to do, if you're in college and you know you're hanging around the wrong people, you're partying too often, too much shit going on. You know, take a step back, take a few months hiatus. I went on a two-year hiatus from going out and trying to party, do drugs, and do drinks. I don't do drugs anyways. Uh, what edit? I went, you know, when I was 21, I took a step back and I went on a two year hiatus of partying overall. And what that made me realize was those two years that I took off after I was 22, 23 years old, and I took off and I just focused on myself and I focused on the people that I wanted to surround myself with, my business took off. Legitimately took off at the speed of light. Now, I wish someone had told me that when I was 15, 16, 17 years old. Yes, I surround myself. With. I'm telling you this from experience because I did surround myself with the most, not the right people when I was growing up. Um, when I was 14, 15, 16, but then I decided to change and I decided to work with people and be around people that actually wanted to do it. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions about, you know, what should you be doing in high school, what should you be doing in college, or overall in life, business, mindset in general, put your questions below because I want to answer as many questions to you guys as I possibly can. Number one. Number two, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button right there, go ahead, hit that subscribe button because the more, you know, the more people you guys watch this video, the more times you guys are sharing this video, so go ahead and share this video. Especially if you guys are young kids, you guys have a reach like you have no other. And you know, if you want people to start following you, start sharing other people's content that you actually resonate with because that's exactly the type of friends that you're going to surround yourself with. So like I said, go ahead and give this button a like, number one. Number two, give me a comment. Number three, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and share the video to every single person that you think will be valuable from this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and hit the subscribe button now. Go, do it now.